The family of a real estate developer stabbed to death in Rittenhouse Square last year is vowing to seek justice. A jury found Michael White not guilty of voluntary manslaughter. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live in Rittenhouse Square with more on the verdict. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning. Well, it's been a difficult 15 months for Michael White, his family, as well as the family of Sean Skellinger. Now, this has been, again, a very difficult time. It all started here on 17th and Chancellor about a year ago when lives in both families would forever be changed. It's where White was accused of fatally stabbing Skellinger, but a jury found him not guilty of voluntary manslaughter, sparking both anger and gratitude in court. The only thing that I have to say is what a mighty God we serve and thank you, Jesus. Juanita White is breathing a sigh of relief after her son, Michael White, was found not guilty of voluntary manslaughter in the deadly stabbing of real estate developer Sean Skellinger in Rittenhouse Square. White had nothing to say leaving court Thursday after the verdict. He is numb. Um, he is... You know, his life was in the balance. But a family spokesman said there was no question what happened the day Skellinger was stabbed. We said 15 months ago that we believe that Michael White was indeed defending himself. And 12 people who didn't know each other came together and unanimously agreed with Michael White, his story. I'm ready to talk. Yes. Meanwhile, the Skellinger family outraged with the verdict. We're not going to ever hold anybody accountable for death in this city anymore? We're just not going to? Really? Michael White admitted to stabbing Skellinger after a fight broke out over a traffic jam in July 2018, but he got rid of the knife and his bloody clothes. White was also found not guilty of possessing an instrument of crime. The sole offense a jury found him guilty of tampering with evidence. This ain't justice. Skellinger's parents contend it was not a fair trial, and White would have been convicted of third-degree murder. Days before the trial was set to begin, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner dropped that charge to voluntary manslaughter. This city is not safer. It is more dangerous as a result of him. Now, Krasner's office put out a statement saying, in part, simply put, we follow the facts and the law in seeking justice, and we respect the verdict of the jury in this factually and legally complex case. Now, White is scheduled to appear in court on December 6th for his sentencing. Live in Rittenhouse Square, Crystal Fanmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Crystal, thank you.